Hey there, all of you fellow internet dwellers. PT Pop here with all four lobes of my brain securely bound behind my back. And today I'm going to show you a letter I just received from Dial America telling me that they had a security breach on their computer system and my identity may have been compromised. Stay tuned. An unauthorized actor. They've got actors doing this now. In the mail this week, I got a letter from Dial America stating that their computer systems had been breached. And I worked at Dial America, I think it was for like two weeks. And I've, I've talked about Dial America in my previous videos, one of my previous videos, and it was just an abysmal working environment, just abysmal. I don't even, don't even remember if we had computers. I know we had a paper script we had to read from. And I, you know, it's just a horribly run company with a horrible product. And it was, there was absolutely no training. There was like a couple of minutes talking to somebody in a room in like in a conference room. And that was my training. That was it. And they threw me on the phones and I, I, I resigned after like two weeks. It was just awful. So I have absolutely no regard, no positive regard for this company. And I have nothing but negative things to say about it. It's not a shock to me that their computer systems were compromised because I imagine they had like a band-aid and a piece of scotch tape as a firewall or any type of security going into their computer systems. I imagine they're so poorly run. Some hacker went, hey, piece of cake, get into their system. I don't know if this is the truth or if this is the case or what happened, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were skim skimping at every chance they could to um, save some cash by not having the appropriate security in place for their computer systems. Hence, my, my identity was comp or may have been compromised. So here's the letter that I received. Notice of security incident. Dial America Marketing Incorporated is writing to inform you of an event that may impact the security of some of your information. Although we've received no indication of any actual attempted at misuse of your information as a result of the event, this notice provides information about the event. Our response and resources available to you to help protect your information from possible misuse should you feel it necessary to do so. So so the letter is just, you know, this is obviously thrown out by their legal team. It's obviously thrown out by their public relations and legal team got together and tried to, I guess, ease my mind. But they said, what happened? What happened on this day? So the letter goes on to say, what happened? What happened on this wonderful day? On July, on July 4th, 2021, Dial America discovered... Anomalous activity on this computer network. And Dial America immediately launched an investigation with the assistance of a third party cybersecurity specialist. Now, I don't know why they'd have to hire a third party cybersecurity specialist. They should have somebody on staff that knows about this stuff. But apparently, the guy sitting in the computer room uh, at Dial America smoking a doobie went, Dude, man, I think we've had a breach. What do we do, man? I don't know. Take another hit, dude. To determine the nature and the scope of the event, the investigation determined that between February 2nd, 2021 and July 9th of 2021, an unauthorized actor, they've got actors doing this now, an unauthorized actor made access to certain Dial America systems and that unauthorized actor may have viewed or taken data from those systems. Therefore, we conducted a review of the information within those systems to identify individuals, so on and so forth. Dial America finalized this review on February 4th, 2022. This is a year later. This is a year. I mean, this took place in February of 2021, between February 2nd and July 9th <laughs> of uh, 2021. Between five months, a year later, a year a year later, they concluded their, their investigation. Dell America finalized this review, confirmed the nature and scope of impacted data and individuals to whom data related. Although we are unaware of any actual attempted misuse of your personal information, we're providing you this notice of an, an abundance of caution. Out of an abundance of caution, I'm sorry. 
The investigation determined that your name, address, social security number, and employee employer assigned identification number may have been accessed or accessible. <laughs> And, and so basically the letter goes on to say what they're going to do about it, what they're doing. They, they're working with, um, I think, Equifax. So they want me to take additional steps by notifying the um, the three as, as an added precaution. And although we do not have any indication of any actual attempt, and they've said this three times now, they don't have any indication of any actual attempt at misuse of your personal information. We're offering credit monitoring and a, Identity theft protection services through Equifax for 12 months at no cost to me. Well, thanks, Dial America. Thanks one hell of a lot. At no cost to me. Your systems are so antiquated and you're, you have such horrible management of your company. You couldn't put the appropriate firewalls and security systems in place in your computer network. So now I've got to jump through hoops with Equifax and TransUnion and all three credit bureaus to make sure that my identity wasn't stolen because of your incompetence. Well, you should, you should come over here to my house, kiss my ass and pay and pay for a lifelong membership to Equifax and TransUnion and the other, other credit bureau. You should do that. Why should I have to pay for any of this shit? This is your fault. This isn't mine. You know, I've been through this with Wells Fargo and the, the Wells Fargo is a far superior company to Dial America, but they're still a shit company who, whose employees, their employees, their internal employees stole our, my and my wife's identification and opened up bank cards with it and did everything. Just people that worked at the bank. This is different. These are people outside of Dial America. But all you guys, all you big companies, oh, we're, we're going to be good to you and give you a one-year free subscription to TransUnion or Equifax. Yay! I don't get this, man. I mean, I worked there for two weeks, and and I can tell you, I, I don't know what their computer systems were, or, you know, what servers they were using, or where their network was located in in the country, but it was a shit show there, just a complete god awful shit show at this company, and they should be completely ashamed of, of themselves. They used to be strictly they used to sell strictly magazines, and they moved on to other things, and I can tell you this this is. This is not a surprise, but I'm disappointed. This is this something else I've got to do now to try to protect, you know, my to protect protect my credit, and it's their fault, not my fault. This isn't something I did. I went to work there. I think you take my information, and keep it safe. I don't even know why you keep former employees' information on an accessible server. It should be off the network. It should be kept somewhere that's not connected to any type of network so so this doesn't happen, I would think. But I'm not a tech guy. I know a lot about technology and networking and stuff, but this just goes to show you what a shit show this company is. Don't ever work at Dial America. I beg of you, please don't work at this company. They are the shit show of shit shows when it comes to call centers and telemarketing. They're still in business somehow. I'm even amazed they're still in business. You should have seen the, the way this place is run here in Ohio where I worked at the Dallas America. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The turnover was one for one. It was constant turnover. I mean, like the worst turnover I'd ever seen. I couldn't take it working there. I just want to let you know, this, this just emphasizes and this just makes my case for what a horrible company they are. So stay away from Dell America if if you can. I'm P.T. Pop. I'm going to sign off with that. Give me the thumbs up. Subscribe. Take care. Bye.